All right, looks like another nice low tide to go wading for crab. And uh, this is my second video I'm making on that. Seems like the first one's decently popular, so I might as well do another video on finding these Dungeness crab. I'll get back to you on my first find. Okay, I got myself a crab here to check. I put it on shore so I can show it better. All right. He is just over six inches, so he is a keeper. All right. All right. I have another crab here in the water. He might be a little smaller. I don't know if you can see him, but I'm going to reach down, get him, I'll pin him to the rake. I'll let go of the, the uh, rake a second. He might be a keeper. He's fighting me, so I'll have to get the rake out of the way. We'll dunk water here. All right. So we got and he's another keeper that's two this one's just barely over six inches all right perfect there's another one yeah cool nope all right i'll get back to you on the next one got another crab here I don't know if you see him. Oh, covered in yucky grass weeds. Looks like he's just undersized too. Come on. Sometimes it's pretty hard to get the measure there. Yeah, definitely under by an eighth of an inch, so he's too small. This one here was running, so I had to get him real quick. Uh, he's just under barely I'm talking the thickness of a matchbook cover so we'll let him go all right there he goes well I wasn't recording but I just scooped this guy up of course he's too small <laughs> all right got a crab here oh that's too small all right, got another crab here. He's all beat up. Just under, if you'll see that how it moves. Yeah, it touches here, but you have to really put them up against the back and it moves, it touches there. But it doesn't touch here, so he goes. Okay, there's a couple one couple crab here. The one I just released, he's just passing by one that I haven't checked yet. And the other one's too small. So let's see if I can show them to you. They're just next to each other. Almost like they're gonna fight. Yeah, they're kind of fighting down in there. Alright. Okay, I want to show you a female first of all. See how it's round abdomen right here? Okay. I also wanted to show you this. See how I can push it in? I can push on its shell a little bit. Everything smushes, even its pincher. Okay, I don't want to harm this. This is a soft shell. It just molted. I could literally let it pinch me. I could put my finger inside of its pincher right here. And it will not pinch because it's just too soft. It's as soft as my hand. Okay, so I'm being delicate with this. So we're going to let it go. I'll get back to you on a male and I'll show you what a male looks like. Okay, I wanted to show you another crab here. This is the male. Pyramid style abdomen. Pointy. And of course when I went to measure this nice crab... An eighth inch undersized, so we're going to put it back in the water. 
Let him run. There he goes. He's wanting to fight. He's circling. <laughs> He's literally circling me. Here he comes back again, grabbing and snapping. <laughs> That's cool. Let's see if he does it again. Fight or flight, dude. Yep, he's fighting. Here he comes again. <laughs> All right. Oh, yeah, I wanted to show you something. See the boat out there? <laughs> There's one over there, too, and they're probably crabbing. But sometimes when uh, these boats come along, they stop and they watch me. And I know maybe they're looking for a good spot to go wading for crab. It's not a secret, secret spot. But I'd like to keep it that way. So... Anyway, anywhere along any shore with eelgrass is where you're going to find these crab this time of year. They're clutching their females, and uh, yeah, it's breeding season, so I am taking a few out of the population. Sorry to say that, but they're all nice hard shells too, so all right. You know, I haven't really been filming these, but I should. He's a little small. I did get a keeper size before but I didn't keep him there's a red rock crab I'm gonna hold the pincher because he only has one I'm gonna measure him that'd be five inches I guess I don't have a hook measure on this one but if he was he was just barely a keeper I don't keep red rock here when I catch all these dungeon ass so just thought I should show you a red rock crab all right. Got a crab down in here, half buried. I'm gonna poke at it. It's right here. Fighting on my shovel. Okay, I'll leave it alone. Here's another red rock. That's only about a foot of water. Right there. I don't know if you can see with the water tension. It's moving along this rock. Okay. Okay, got one to measure here. All right, that one's too small. I'm gonna put him back. I see one over there. I'm gonna leave him alone for a second. But I have one right here in front of me. Fight him to get him up. Now that's a nice one there. It's a nice keeper if you don't, if you don't pinch me. You gotta be quick with your hands. They can pinch you. All right, six and a quarter. Commercial size crab right there. All right, so I'll come over to the other one here while I still have you on the video. This guy here. Another decent crab. If you'll notice, this time of year they're clutching their females. So that's definitely a keeper. All right. See if I can get him to let go, and as I'm talking to you, I will look for another one. So, just scanning the heel grass, and there's one right below me here. I think it's the one I had just measured at the beginning of the video. Get him back out of there. You don't want to put them in your bucket unless they are keepers, because that's called retaining the crab. Is he a different one? He is, he's a keeper. So that's number five. All right, while I have you on here, I'll do another scan around this eelgrass, see if I find one more. See if I can get number six. Make it a quick limit. Got one here. Okay. He's trying to pinch me. I gotta hold the bucket. And crab in the rake. And he's a keeper. Looks like I limited, so I will get back to you on my wrap up. All right, here are my six crab, all six inches and bigger. You can keep two in this, uh, you can keep, keep two. I'm out of breath. You can keep six at six inches or bigger so that's three four 
five and six. I also might add the rake. You have to have a rubber tip on each tong of the rake so you don't penetrate the shell. That's, I don't know if that's exactly law, but in the state of Washington, it says you may not penetrate the shell of the crab. So to keep from doing that, I put the rubber tips on. So if you liked my video, please press, I always say that wrong, please press like. If you haven't already, I'm asking that you please subscribe while well, I'm catching my breath. And again, if you want to see more of my type of videos, please press the notification bell. And that'll help me uh, towards having the motivation to make more videos for you to watch. I'm going for 100 subscribers for the year 2021. And again, thank you for watching.